Self-proclaimed relationship guru Derek Jackson reacted to his own cheating confession video in third person, for real. Whatever it may be. So, when I looked in the comments of this video, uh, I don't know if old boy was trolling or not, but he said, D, I think I wanna see a reaction to this video. So, let's do it. And by the way, I'm gonna speak in third person. Um, a lot of you already seen this, but this is Derek Jackson. Um, a lot of people think of him as a relationship expert and guru and all of that. Well, he and his wife are making this video because apparently at some point in their marriage or maybe even beforehand in the relationship, he didn't take his own advice and he stepped out and he got involved with other women, as you heard them say. Now, upon first impression, nothing really stuck out to me about him, but more so about the wife. Like I heard her say that she stands with her husband. She's proud to love him. Um, I heard her say that, you know, this is some time ago. They've already processed this, overcame this, dealt with this a long time ago and nothing's really new to her but just by her body language i was really wondering like did he force her to do this video like she looks super uncomfortable like she doesn't want to be there but then i watched their live chat that they did right afterwards and you know i kind of caught that this is just a part of her personality so that kind of explains somewhat of her demeanor you know she clearly has a mind of her own if you saw the live chat too and she said that the live chat even was her idea um so with that cool she wants to stand by her husband she feels like he's worth it she has that right now as far as what he said I understand and I, and I completely applaud him taking accountability because too many times we see dudes and they got this sob story about how they was raised and you know they broke in home and the goldfish died and they never seen a marriage and all that. He didn't do that. He just took accountability. Regardless, whether you like him, love him or hate him, I think this is a great example as to why we don't need to be putting anybody on the pedestal. Nobody. And I think a lot of women did that. And I'm not even going to say it's the women's fault by themselves because this dude, he never really showed his struggle. You know, we understand, oh, we're all humans and we all make mistakes, but he never showed those mistakes. Not for real. I think he wrote about it or something like that, but he never showed that side. So it's not really all on the women, but I've seen a lot of women put this dude on the pedestal to the point of idealizing him and even comparing their man to him. So this is like cheatception. He's basically admitting to the cheating in the video and then explaining himself by himself, talking about himself as if he's not himself. He's, he's separated himself from the action and he's, he's bigging himself up. He gave his own self proud. I love the way that guy took accountability. Most guys wouldn't take accountability, but not Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson, if he's nothing else, he's accountable. And honestly, I know you're thinking. I am a clown. I am a clown. But I am dead serious when I say this. This is genius. This is genius. He gets to say whatever everybody else is thinking, defend that and act like it's not him and his own wife in the video. I mean, what else could he do? The credibility is gone. The whole, the jig is up, as they say. But he went right back into that car and said, the jig is what? Up. I'll show you. I'm going to big that guy up. And, and if you think he's not selling products still, you're wrong. I know some people will see this type of video, even though he's come forward and he's been completely honest. Um, some people are just gonna close the book on D. Some people are gonna close the book on this dude and say, you know what, I'm done with you, cancel you, cancel culture, come here. I'm more so on the side of his wife and just basically letting this be a new chapter of how I see him. Because I do believe that his content over the years has helped a tremendous amount of people. You know, he tells the truth, he speaks facts. And quite honestly, I'm gonna be real with y'all, I've needed several new chapters in my own life, Lord knows. And I'm not ashamed to say it, but I'm no guru. Those are just my thoughts. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. And by the way, he has a book detailing how he and his wife overcame all of this in their private lives a long time ago, matter of fact. It's called Heal Together Without Hurting Each Other. So if you're in a situation like this, you want to let God in to totally restore it better than new, um, click the link down in the bio or up in the bio in the caption. I got a 50% off deal for you guys who are watching this video right now. Man, listen, it's complete audacity. Un only a creative genius narcissist oh, i don't even know only a person who is going to make them videos is going to figure out look i gotta flip the whole thing on its head that i'm gonna i'm gonna big him up <laughs> bruh i am flabbergasted i really am like nah you 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 lying he is dead serious he was like y'all gonna leave me 
I wouldn't leave. I mean, not me. Y'all going to leave Derek? Me? No. I, not me. This, not Derek. Uh, Jarek Maxson, me, Jarek Maxson, I'm going to give Derek Jackson another shot. And if you would too, I, he would, we would, uh, uh, please don't leave him, us, we don't, stay, don't, uh, I'm so confused. <laughs>